In computing, a symbolic link is a special type of file that contains a reference to another file or directory in the form of an absolute or relative path and that affects path name resolution. Symbolic links were already present by 1978 in many computer operating systems from DEC and Data General's RDOS. Today they are supported by the POSIX operating system standard, most Unix-like operating systems such as FreeBSD, GNU Linux, and Mac OS X, and also Windows operating systems such as Windows Vista, Windows 7 and to some degree and Windows 2000 and Windows XP in the form of shortcut files. Symbolic links operate transparently for most operations. Programs that read or write to files named by a symbolic link will behave as if operating directly on the target file. However, programs that need to handle symbolic links specially may identify and manipulate them directly. A symbolic link contains a text string that is automatically interpreted and followed by the operating system as a path to another file or directory. This other file or directory is called the target. The symbolic link is a second file that exists independently of its target. If a symbolic link is deleted, its target remains unaffected. If a symbolic link points to a target, and sometime later that target is moved, renamed or deleted, the symbolic link is not automatically updated or deleted, but continues to exist and still points to the old target, now a non-existing location or file. Symbolic links pointing to moved or non-existing targets are sometimes called broken, orphaned, dead, or dangling. Symbolic links are different from hard links. Hard links do not link paths on different volumes or file systems, whereas symbolic links may point to any file or directory irrespective of the volumes on which the link and target reside. Hard links always refer to an existing file whereas symbolic links may contain an arbitrary path that does not point to anything. Some Unix as well as Linux distributions use symbolic links extensively in an effort to reorder the file system hierarchy. This is accomplished with several mechanisms, such as variant, context-dependent symbolic links. This offers the opportunity to create a more intuitive or application-specific directory tree and to reorganize the system without having to redesign the core set of system functions and utilities. POSIX and Unix-like operating systems In POSIX compliant operating systems, symbolic links are created with a symlink system call. The ln shell command normally uses the link system call, which creates a hard link. When the LNS flag is specified, the symlink system call is used instead, creating a symbolic link. Symlinks were introduced in 4.2 Bahamian dollars Unix from UC Berkeley. The following command creates a symbolic link at the command line interface. LNS target path link path. Target path is the relative or absolute path to which the symbolic link should point. Usually the target will exist although symbolic links may be created to non-existent targets. Link path is the path of the symbolic link. After creating the symbolic link, it may generally be treated as an alias for the target. Any file system management commands may be used on the symbolic link. Commands which read or write file contents will access the contents of the target file. The RM command, however, removes the link itself, not the target file. The POSIX directory listing application, ls, denotes symbolic links with an arrow after the name, pointing to the name of the target file, when a long directory list is requested. When a directory listing of a symbolic link that points to a directory is requested, only the link itself will be displayed. In order to obtain a listing of the link directory, the path must include a trailing directory separator character. Storage of symbolic links Early implementations of symbolic links stored the symbolic link information as data in regular files. The file contained the textual reference to the link a Euro unregistered trademark S target, and an indicator denoting it as a symbolic link. This method was slow and an inefficient use of disk space on small systems. An improvement, called fast symlinks, allowed storage of the target path within the data structures used for storing file information on disk. This space normally stores a list of disk block addresses allocated to a file. Thus, symlinks with short target paths are accessed quickly. 
systems with fast symlinks often fall back to using the original method if the target path exceeds the available inode space. The original style is retroactively termed a slow symlink. It is also used for disk compatibility with other or older versions of operating systems. Although storing the link value inside the inode saves a disk block and a disk read, the operating system still needs to pass the path name in the link, which always requires reading additional inodes and generally requires reading other, and potentially many, directories, processing both the list of files and the inodes of each of them until it finds a match with the link's path components. Only when a link points to a file in the same directory do fast symlinks provide significantly better performance than other symlinks. The vast majority of POSIX compliant implementations use fast symlinks. However, the POSIX standard does not require the entire set of file status information common to regular files to be implemented for symlinks. This allows implementations to use other solutions, such as storing symlink data in directory entries. The file system permissions of a symbolic link usually have relevance only to rename or removal operations of the link itself, not to the access modes of the target file which are controlled by the target file's own permissions. The reported size of a symlink is the number of characters in the path it points to. Mac OS aliases In Mac OS and some Linux distributions, Applications or users can also employ aliases, which have the added feature of following the target, even if it is moved to another location on the same volume. Microsoft Windows, Windows Symbolic Link Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8 support symbolic links for both files and directories with the command line utility mklink. Unlike junction points, a symbolic link can also point to a file or remote server message block network path. Additionally, the NTFS symbolic link implementation provides full support for cross-file system links. However, the functionality enabling cross-host symbolic links requires that the remote system also support them, which effectively limits their support to Windows Vista and later Windows operating systems. Symbolic links are designed to aid in migration and application compatibility with POSIX operating systems. Microsoft aimed for Vista's symbolic links to function just like Unix links. However, the implementation varies from Unix symbolic links in several ways. For example, Vista users must manually indicate when creating a symbolic link whether it is a file or a directory. Vista has a limit of 31 symbolic links in a single path. Only users with a new create symbolic link privilege, which only administrators have by default, can create symbolic links. If this is not the desired behavior, it must be changed in the local security policy management console. In Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8, when the working directory path ends with a symbolic link, the current parent path reference will refer to the parent directory of the symbolic link rather than that of its target. This behavior is also found at the shell level in at least some POSIX systems, including Linux but never in accessing files and directories through operating system calls. For instance, bash built-in commands pwd and cd operate on the current logical directory. pwd is often used in scripts to determine the actual current working directory. When any path is used with a system call, any user will use the actual file system parent of the directory containing the pseudo directory entry. So, cd cat something, and cat slash something may return completely different results. A third-party driver is available to enable symbolic links on Windows XP, NTFS junction points. The Windows 2000 version of NTFS introduced the pass points, which enabled, among other things, the use of volume mount points and junction points. Junction points are for directories only, and moreover, local directories only. Junction points to remote shares are unsupported. The Windows 2000 and XP resource kits include a program called LINKD to create junction points. A more powerful one named Junction was distributed by Sys Internals Mark Rusinovich. It is important to point out that not all standard applications support for pass points. Most noticeably, 
backup suffers from this problem and will issue an error message 0x8007003 when the folders to be backed up contain a repass point. Shortcuts, shortcuts, which are supported by the graphical file browsers of some operating systems, may resemble symbolic links but differ in a number of important ways. One difference is what type of software is able to follow them, symbolic links are automatically resolved by the file system. Any software program, upon accessing a symbolic link, will see the target instead, whether the program is aware of symbolic links or not. Shortcuts are treated like ordinary files by the file system and by software programs that are not aware of them. Only software programs that understand shortcuts treat them as references to other files. Another difference are the capabilities of the mechanism. Microsoft Windows shortcuts normally refer to a destination by an absolute path, whereas POSIX symbolic links can refer to destinations via either an absolute or a relative path. The latter is useful if both the location and destination of the symbolic link share a common path prefix, but that prefix is not yet known when a symbolic link is created. Microsoft Windows application shortcuts contain additional metadata that can be associated with the destination, whereas POSIX symbolic links are just strings that will be interpreted as absolute or relative path names. Unlike symbolic links, Windows shortcuts maintain their references to their targets even when the target is moved or renamed. Windows domain clients may subscribe to a Windows service called Distributed Link Tracking to track the changes in files and folders to which they are interested. The service maintains the integrity of shortcuts, even when files and folders are moved across the network. Additionally, in Windows 9X and later, Windows Shell tries to find the target of a broken shortcut before proposing to delete it. Folder shortcuts, almost like shortcuts, but transparent to the Windows shell. They are implemented as ordinary folders containing a shortcut named Target LNK which refers to the target and a desktop knee with the following contents. Folder shortcuts are created and used from the Windows shell in the network neighborhood for example. Shell objects, the shell objects or shell folders are defined in the Windows registry and can be used to implement a sort of symbolic link too. Like folder shortcuts, they are transparent to the Windows shell. A minimal implementation is the My Documents folder on the desktop as well as the Fonts and the Administrative Tools folders in the Control Panel are examples of shell objects redirected to file system folders. Sequence Symbolic Links Sequence simulates POSIX compliant symbolic links in the Microsoft Windows file system. It uses identical programming and user utility interfaces as Unix but creates Windows shortcuts with additional information used by SIGWIN at the time of Simlink resolution. SIGWIN Simlinks are compliant with both Windows and the POSIX standard. Some differences exist, however. SIGWIN has no way to specify shortcut-related information a euro such as working directory or icon a euro as there is no place for such parameters in LNS command. To create standard Microsoft LNK files SIGWIN provides them shortcut and red shortcut utilities, the SIGWIN user's guide has more information on this topic. Emulating POSIX links under Windows, the different forms of symbolic links in Windows cover most user and administrator requirements. Unfortunately they do not fulfill important programmer requirements. They cannot be used to write functions with POSIX behavior. All symbolic links of Windows have shortcomings and not even a combination of them can be used to write POSIX functions. The crucial shortcomings are, Vista symbolic links need administrator privileges to create them. NTFS junction points are for directories only. Shortcuts work only for programs that are written to take them into account. SIGWIN symbolic links work only inside SIGWIN. Outside they have the same shortcomings as shortcuts. Summary, Amiga, the command creating symbolic links is Macalink, which is also used for hard links. Internally the DOS library returns an error code indicating that a target is a soft link if you try to perform actions on it that are only legal for a file, and applications that wish to follow the symbolic link then needs to explicitly make a call to follow the link and retry the operation. The Amiga DOS shell will follow links automatically. OS 2 
in the OS 2 operating system, symbolic links somewhat resemble shadows in the graphical workplace shell. However, shadows, due to the fully object oriented system object model, are considerably more powerful and robust than a simple link. For example, shadows do not lose their capabilities when renamed or when either the object or subject of the link is relocated. Variable symbolic links Symbolic links may be implemented in a context-dependent or variable fashion, such that the link points to varying targets depending on a configuration parameter, runtime parameter, or other instantaneous condition. A variable or variant symbolic link is a symbolic link that has a variable name embedded in it. This allows some flexibility in file system order that is not possible with a standard symbolic link. Variables embedded in a symbolic link may include user and environment specific information. Operating systems that make use of variant symbolic links include NetBSD, Dragonfly BSD, DomainOS, and FreeBSD 10. HP True64 uses a context dependent symbolic link where the context is the cluster member number. Pyramid Technologies OS operating system implemented conditional symbolic links which pointed to different locations depending on which universe a program was running in. The universes supported were AT&T's SIS V3 and the Berkeley software distribution. For example, if the PS command was run in the at universe, then the symbolic link for the directory slash bin would point to slash at bin and the program PS would be executed. Whereas if the PS command was run in the UCB universe, then slash bin would point to slash UCBBIN and PS would be executed. Similar conditional symbolic links were also created for other directories such as slash lib, lib, include. See also, symlink race a euro a security vulnerability caused by symbolic links, freed up a euro generates links between identical data and automatically, references. External links. Q and A, the difference between hard and soft links as applied to Linux, junction, maintain NTFS junction points, Futil hard link, Microsoft Technet page on using the command line tool Futil to create hard links, link shell extension, Windows Explorer context menu, overlay icons and property sheet handler to maintain hard links, NTFS junction points, symbolic links etc. Symbolic drivers for Windows XP, file system drivers to enable symbolic links for Windows XP. Sources available. This article is based on material taken from the Free Online Dictionary of Computing prior to November 1, 2008 and incorporated under the relicensing terms of the GFDL, version 1.3 or later.